I am Warlock the Wizard, and today, a meteorite has landed in my world. Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today, we are playing Terraria Expedition, and today, we're going to continue our Warlock the Wizard playthrough. Last episode, I did say I was going to go to the dungeon, which we are going to do. We're going to find a Shadow Key, and hopefully, um, be able to... One second, it seems really dark for some reason. Let me just uh, fix that. Uh, we're going to be able to open shadow chest. Now, with the shadow chest, you can find Mitra, but literally, just as I started recording this, a Mitra actually landed. Now, Warlock was the one who noticed it, he told me, and now we're just going to look on the map because a Mitra did land. Don't know whereabouts it landed, so we're just going to have to look uh, left and right to see if we can see where it landed. Now, it would be better if it didn't land in the ocean, but we don't know where it's landed yet. think it's going to be landed on the right-hand side then, because I can't really see any Wait, no, I can't really see anything where it would be. I mean, I don't know if I'm just blind. Whoa, that looks really weird, that sand does, doesn't it? I think that looks really, really weird. But yeah, uh, let's just take a look. Can we see the meteorite this way? I think it'll be on the right-hand side. Whoa, is that what we mined out before? That's just crazy. But I don't know where it abouts it is then. Because I can't really see where it's landed. And it doesn't look like it's landed in any of the oceans. So, we're just going to have to have a look today. We're going to go to the right and see what we can do. But before that, we do have our Hell Forges, which we did get last time from the Underworld. And we're going to put them up here, just on top of these. We're just going to fill out all this area with any other crafting sta stations we find. And hopefully, we can make it look nice. Now, a lot of people wonder how I build like this. And it's not hard. It's really easy. I don't spend a lot of time on builds, really. Normally, I just throw some things together. You know, it really helps when you actually get a hammer and hammer out these edges. It really does give it a, a more of a feel. Uh, you don't have to do it everywhere. Like here, I've not done it on this side. And it just makes it look, look more, I don't know, like squared off, I guess. But, yeah. Um, that can improve buildings. You don't have to do it. But... In my opinion, it does improve buildings. A lot of people keep asking me about mage armor. Yes, I do have the meteorite suit on. And I do class that as mage armor. So, what am I doing wrong now? Warlock should be good. You good today, Warlock? I am fine. That's great then, Warlock. Hopefully, we can uh, go around. And hopefully, there's no Legend 27s around. But, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, the Wall of Flesh isn't the Legend 27. We can kill him next time we come against him. I mean, we didn't do too bad, to be fair. The only reason uh, we died, in my opinion, was because we didn't have enough mana. And, yeah, we needed more mana potions. It would have been nice to get more mana potions. But, unfortunately for us, we couldn't... There was no way of getting them any other way. We get a lot of fallen stars. You know why? It might be good to get the <laughs> star cannon. I mean, honestly, the star cannon seems so usable now because we're getting so many stars normally this many stars don't drop <gasps> i just thought something imagine if the meteorite has landed on a sky island because we haven't explored any sky islands yet i think the most we've done is gone up there and that's it but can you imagine if the meteorite would be unlucky enough to spawn on a sky island could you imagine that that'd just be so unfortunate but uh, running along here i don't think i can see it anywhere uh, it doesn't look like it's landed up here I have no clue. We're just going to go past the dungeon quickly. See if it's landed on the right hand side. But I don't know where this meteor has landed. Uh, other than just having a look for it. I guess it might have landed on the left hand side. And I might have just missed it out. I, I really don't know. It really. It's something. It seems uh, really weird that I can't see it on the map. Because normally you see like a massive hole where it's landed. But I really cannot see where it has landed. Whoa. Do you see all those crimson altars down there? That's insane. That is absolutely crazy, guys. We're just going to uh, put some torches down as well so we can see what we're doing because I hate it when you don't put torches down and it's just all dark. Yeah, I do it all the time, though. I forgot we could walk on water as well. Totally crossed my mind. I keep thinking, oh, there's loads of water here. It's going to be annoying to get past. But, you know, I've, I've got water walking boots. So I can just walk across the water and <laughs> stop me from going through any of that pain. Right, I don't think it'll be on the... Do you reckon it'll be in the ocean? Because I don't think it will. But we can take a quick look. I don't think it'll be down here, though. Personally, I don't think it will be. Take, like, say, take a quick look. Yeah, we, we've run out of, uh, what do you call it? So far, nope, it's not down there. There is a chest down there, though. Is it going to be worth getting? Do you reckon it's going to be worth getting? Yeah, let's get it. <gasps> beach ball. Oh, yeah. Me and, me and Warlock can play beach ball now. Woo! Oh, yeah. I love playing beach ball. 
Right, we're just gonna get our way up here. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're so close to dying right now. Oh, we just about made it. MLG. MLG. We just about made that. We need to use a healing potion, though. Let's get one of these down our necks. Oh, that was so close. So, so close. Oh, my days. Oh, Vulture. Now we're just going to get destroyed by this instead. No, we're just going to keep running. Whoa. I forgot about the Antillians. Or Antilions, sorry. My bad. I always call them Antillians. They're Antlions. There we go. Let's keep running anyway. We're going to head to the dungeon, which is just here. We might as well just, like, run to it. And when we're in the dungeon, hopefully, like I said, we can get a gold key quite fast so that we can get the shadow key. The shadow key is always in your first chest, like, 9 out of 10 times. It'll be in the first golden chest that's at the top. If not, then, I don't know, you've got some weirdly spawned world right there. But, no, um... It, it, it is always at the top. Here we go. Right, we're in the dungeon now. We're going to go exploring. Hopefully, like I say, Warlock can find some stuff down there. I don't know if it's going to go well. We will just have to wait and find out. Now, the meteorite doesn't look like it's landed on the right-hand side. So, that leads me to believe it has landed on the left-hand side. But where? Like, where is it landed? I have no clue. Like, I cannot see whereabouts it's landed. I Oh, there. There. I can see exactly where it's landed. There we go. Right, we'll go mine that in a little bit then. And we'll do this. And with that, we'll get the space gun. And then we can go up against the wall of flesh again. Because with the space gun, you don't need meteor um meteorite. You don't need mana. Because if you've got full meteorite armor, you pretty much have... Well, the, the space gun has unlimited... What do you call it? Uh, unlimited mana. It doesn't use any mana. Right, let's put a few of these down. Because I don't want to lose all of my mana. And then have to go through it. That'd just be a nightmare. Hang on a minute. Is that is that the water bolt? No, okay, it's just a book. Fair enough. I thought that was water bolt. Then I was like, really? We we got all the way down here and died. This is where we died that time when I got destroyed by the uh, skeleton or the dungeon guardian. Even I got absolutely obliterated by him. Honestly, whoa! No, no, no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. My life is going up so slow as well. Right, let's uh, fr throw a few of these schools down here. Angry Bones, go away. Can they get hurt by that or not? I don't know if they can get hurt by those, but we haven't got any gold keys. That's the problem. Like, we've not got a single gold key, and there's nothing around here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually go a little bit deeper and see if we can get a gold key from anywhere. Oh, is this some uh, gold? No. Okay, it was just a, just a particle effect, I guess, or something like that. Uh, not gold at all. Here we go. Uh-oh. I don't like those casters. They cast... That's Warlock's biggest nightmare. Coming across another wizard. And this place holds many wizards. Strong and mighty. Got a hollow chest there as well. Just 10 damage per hit. Jeez. Come on, give us a gold key. This one's good. Nope, that didn't give us a gold key. We've got to get one soon. And we're not even going to be able to pick it up anyway because... We need to get rid of all this stuff. No, we, we can. We've got one inventory space or inventory space. Right, here we go. See if we can sneak up on them. Sneak up. Sneaky, sneaky. Right. Since we're a mage, we can just do this. Okay, no, he moved. Angry Bones. This is why I love the Book of Schools. Because it literally just tears through enemies. And, yeah, we're getting... Dungeon Slime. Yes, that's what we need. That'll give us a guaranteed golden key. There we go. Right. We need to get out of here. We need to... We need to get out of there. We, we couldn't stick around in there much longer. The reason being is because we would have got absolutely destroyed by them. They are very strong enemies. And they come in swarms and swarms of just loads of the enemies. So we're going to get over and get the meteorite now. Once we've got the meteorite, hopefully we can uh, make the space gun. Which we're not... We're, we're like five bars off. And... A good friend of mine, Casper Games, actually recommended me to go into the underworld and open up shadow chests. That's why I wanted the shadow key so much, because if you do that, then you do have a chance to get meteor bars from under there. And I completely forgot that you have a chance to get meteor bars from that. Like, it, it just passed my head. It just did. I didn't even think about doing that. And it's a really good idea. But for me, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go mine this meteorite because... Well, it's just going to be faster in the long run now because I don't have to travel all the way back down to the underworld. And, yeah, it's just going to be really simple that way. We've got a chest there which we've already opened. And the world is looking nicely. We're coming along nicely. And when 
Warlock gets into hard mode, the first thing he's told me he wants to do is go and mine some Icor. Because we're in a Crimson world and we will be able to get a lot of Icor and we can invest in the Golden Shower. Now, the Golden Shower, very strong weapon. It uh, does like a stream of yellow, it's like a stream of yellow orange, no, ye orange, lemonade, sorry, not orange, orange juice is orange. What am I talking about? Let's put food colouring in it, then it might be, but um, no. We're going to mine all this, and I will see you once we've mined it all. Wow, that has left a massive hole in the ground. That's huge. Just look at it. It's massive. But no, there we go. We've mined all the meteorite now. We have 100 and... No, 259 meteorite. That is a lot of meteorite. We're not even going to be able to use that many. I don't know if we can use meteorite for anything else. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure uh, meteorite should use just to make meteorite armor. And Mitra weapons. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and smith all this now then. Let's uh, smelt it all. Sorry, not smith it. We'll smelt it all. Here we go. We're going to get 86 bars. Really? Wow. That means in total we have about 100 bars. That's not even a, a joke. We have about a 100 bars. Whereabouts are uh, the rest of our Mitra right then? Did we leave in here? Yep, we did. 25. So, in total, we now have... Wow, 111 meteorite bars. So that means we can make quite a bit of stuff with this, which is going to be awesome. And we're just going to pour this stuff in here quickly. Here we go. Let's uh, get rid of the stone blocks. We're going to uh, get rid of um, these fallen stars. We don't need them. One meteorite left. Lovely. Eight iron bars. We're not going to need them for now. Uh, we're going to put our bu uh, honey in here. Not bunny. Our honey in here. Dangerous potion. Yeah, we'll put that in here too. Beeswax we'll keep. We've got uh, mud blocks, which we'll keep on us just in case we need another block. We've got silver bars, ropes, mushrooms, dynamite. I'll probably sell that later on. How much does me try to sell for out of curiosity? Let's uh, take a look out of curiosity on how much it sells for. Wow. I can get 13 gold for 99 bars. That is awesome. Absolutely epic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our anvil now, which is over here. And with that, we're going to make the one and only space gun. Oh, yeah, we need we need two uh, stars as well. I completely forgot about that. So let's uh, grab our two stars too. Get it? But Two stars too? Yeah, that, 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 that was just a bad joke. That was an awful joke. <laughs> here we go. So now we can make our space gun that is beautiful. And if we wasn't a mage, we could go ahead and make like... I don't know. I think there's a phase saber. Do they? The phase sabers use meteorite. Yeah, the phase sabers use meteorite and ten, or phase phase blade, not phase sabers. Phase blade use ten of any ores. No, ten of any gems and twenty meteorite bars, and they're very good against the wall of flesh as well. But we now have the one, the only space gun, which is absolutely awesome. Right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the snow out of there. Then I'm going to go into here and shove this in here. Sort of, uh, got silver fawns in there, so we'll put that with that. I know we've probably, probably got loads more things. Now we have a lot of meteor bars left, as far as I was aware. 81 meteor bars left. But now, we do have the one and only superior space gun. And it's superior, it's not just normal, it is superior. Superior. So it should be awesome, should be good, and hopefully we can take down loads of things that is fast, it's strong. What else could you want from a weapon? There we go, look at that. It's fast, strong. Oh my god, we're just going to be OP now, guys. We're going to head over to, to the jungle, uh, dungeon, sorry, to go claim our key, shadow key, because the shadow key, like I say, oh, we almost just uh, took a load of damage off us. Shadow key is used to open the shadow chest. And it's always in the first gold chest. So we don't even have to, have to go down that far. We just have to head over here. Jump over him. Let's see how fast we can kill him. Wow. This weapon is awesome. The mandible as well. You can make the mandible blade on PC. But for now on Xbox, we can't make the mandible blade. So upsetting. Unless the mandible blade is found. No, I'm pretty sure you can make it with things. There we go. Let Vultures, no way. This is so good in pre-hard mode. I mean, the Book of Schools is stronger, yeah, but it uses a lot of mana, and without a... Ooh, mana flower. That's it. And the thing you need to make it 
is the nature's gift. And I always forget about the nature's gift, but we can't find the nature's gift. Normally, I'll find loads of them, but I can't find a single one. So I can't make a mana flower. So that means we can't really use the Book of Schools very well. If we could find a mana flower, though, that'd be awesome. And I love how this thing lights up the area as well. So I don't have to worry about putting torches down. Here we go. Right, this should have the shadow key in then. Oh. Um. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> it didn't have the shadow key in. We can uh, sell that. We can probably sell a lot of these things. So we're just going to take it all just so we can sell it. There we go. All good. And we're getting a lot of life taken off. Where is the first golden chest then? Did I go past it? Because I know it weren't that far into the dungeon, but I'm pretty sure every single dungeon that I've been in, the golden key has always been in the first golden chest. Huh. Well, that's uh, threw me off guard a little bit now, guys, because we're going to have to go find another gold key to find the next gold, I mean, to open the next gold chest. That's a bit of a letdown, really, isn't it? Oh, well, it's all right. Oh, it's not too bad. I mean, we're going to get a bit of life taking us off us there. But we should be good. And we're just going to head down. See if we're going to find another chest. Here we go. Let's just get onto that. There we go. Hopefully, yep. We didn't take too much damage there. Then maybe it's in this chest here. But we don't have a golden key now. So what are we going to do? All right. No, I've just got poisoned or something. Oh, no. Just got poisoned. Don't like it when I get poisoned. If there's a mage around, it could take me down easily. Warlock. Oh, the bow mechanic. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Okay. Right, we've got the bow mechanic now. Uh-oh. Ginger. Don't die, Ginger. I've got your back. I've got your back. Just just go somewhere in a safe place, Ginger. Go go find a safe place. I've got your back. I've got you. We've got to... We've got to Uh-oh. We've got to save Ginger here. Ginger, are you Okay. Ginger, you're okay. Okay, I'm out, 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 I'm out. We almost died there. Oh, well, we did get a mandible, an antlion mandible. And we've got some other stuff as well that we can sell. So we're going to go ahead and sell these just to get the money off them. Demonic Maramossa as well. 21 melee damage. Oh my god. We're going to have to sell it. Uh, we can sell no value. Okay, I'm not going to sell those. Healing potions we're going to keep because we're going to use those against the wall of flesh. And... Gravitation potions, not really going to be a one that I use. Can we make a obsidian potion? But then we need obsidian, don't we? I haven't got any obsidian yet. Yeah, I should have got that, really. Recall potion, we can sell that because we're not going to need recall potions as we do have the magic mirror. Here we go, sell those. Four silver, 80 copper for those. 20 silver for those. I don't know if you can use those for any more potions, so I'm just going to keep them for now. Uh, we can sell one gold coin for one gold coin. What a what an investment. That was a good investment there, guys. We're never going to get a better investment than that. So, next time, I'm going to head down into the underworld and kill, hopefully kill, the Wall of Flesh. So, I'll see you next time, guys. And, please do not subscribe, stay frosty, and peace.